What's up, everybody? Dana Leong here, Grammy Award winning human. Thank you guys so much for checking out the iDragon uh, premieres with uh, Deep Music AI and also our official music video. In today's video, we are going to address one of the most popular questions we got, uh, which is how does a human collaborate with an AI? We have to start by asking ourselves, in 2021, can a computer write poetry with the literary mastery of William Shakespeare? Can it create art that takes our breath away the way that seeing the Taj Mahal does, or hearing shamanic folk songs sung by the most soulful of singers, or watching the end of a cinematic masterpiece does? Probably not. But don't stop watching yet. An AI-powered computer could help us architect a beautiful and structurally solid skyscraper, and likely faster than a human. And in our case, it helped us create a 100-track, powerfully driven symphonic tapestry filled with epic twists, turns, and beats. If you haven't, go back and watch iDragon. And as you watch and listen, you'll also see the opening screen shows a colored key explanation. That colored key explanation shows who did what. In our case, green means AI generated content. Purple means human composed content and computer sounds. And blue is human recorded instruments that we actually recorded in our recording studio right here. A really good friend of mine recently said during a conversation about cameras, imaging graphics and such that you cannot beat physics unless you cheat. What he was referring to is the quality of images that you can get when you use a large piece of glass in a perfectly crafted camera lens. It simply lets in more light and it's shaped to give the clearest image, specifically when compared to the much smaller lenses and processors of today's smartphones. However, it's not quite that simple of a comparison to make. Today, a digital camera and a mobile phone both have many components that which modify the quality of the image. And with today's technology, artificial intelligence, AI powered software and guided hardware can in fact create images that improve upon the limitations of hardware alone. My goal is to maximize the use of AI in order to minimize some of the most tedious parts of my job as a music composer. You have me, I think so, show me. Knowing this, I decided to use the strengths that we already know about AI. For example, AI can help you do something easy and do a lot of it very quickly. For example, categorization of files, recognition of patterns and colors. This is what an AI might be great at doing. Secondly, the AI may be able to do things that are very difficult and take much less time. In this case, my case, orchestration. Think about this, when you notate a piece to be played by one musician, for example, happy birthday, it usually is pretty quick and easy. However, can you imagine being in charge of writing happy birthday for the 100 musicians in a symphony orchestra? It would take any orchestrator, amateur or professional, a considerable amount of time. Each of the different sections of music must be rewritten for up to 100 musicians in different keys, in different clefs, in different registers, and you probably need at least 100 pieces of paper. After trying multiple platforms, I was pretty pleased to find that the Ava platform is a web-based AI composer that was both easy to use and surprisingly fast for creating. When given a MIDI score of my tectonic music, electronic symphony arrangement of the Chinese folk song, Heirs of the Dragon, the AI identified and chose the instruments extremely quickly. And then in within a few clicks, it created seven full orchestra stylistic renditions in less than 10 minutes. Mind you, my original arrangement and orchestration took me at least 80 hours to do one. My role as the human collaborator is to take those stylistic renditions, pick them apart, weave in musical melodies and rhythms of my own, and finally reassemble it all as a new tapestry. I'm a fan of lush melody 
powerful rhythm, so I enjoy mixing traditional symphonic elements with electronic sounds and beats. The process was as such. One, feed the tectonic electronic symphony version of Heirs of the Dragon into the Ava uh, system seven times, yielding seven completely different results. Two, pick my favorite segments. Three, using the hip hop kind of producer approach of breaking things down into small segments, uh, samples and what have you, I was able to then uh, create small loops and segments that uh, became my musical Legos to build upon. Then I rebuilt it all to the shape of my liking. Four, create a rhythmic framework. At the time of uh, this video and the creation of iDragon, uh, there was not the option for the AI to create drum parts. So, and that's something I enjoy doing anyways. So we had to go and create the drum parts ourselves in order to frame our melody. Afterwards, I put them all together in one big tapestry and then composed the segments and transitions of the music that would help those uh, Legos kind of flow between one another a, a little bit more seamlessly. All in all, this was a very interesting and enjoyable process. I enjoyed the challenges. I think that it overall saved us uh, uh, maybe tens of hours out of a 100 hour, 200 hour uh, complete project, which still is some time. It's not all the time, and it's absolutely not fully automatic and automated. It's not, it's absolutely not fully, it's absolutely not fully automatic. Does that make sense? Not automatic, not automatic. But it did help and it cut down some time and it was a fun experiment to see what the computer was capable of coming up with. You know, all in all, I would say it was a pleasant experience. The fact that the AI came up with uh, ideas that I would not have otherwise come up by, by myself made it a successful collaboration. After completing this collaboration, I can say that this kind of workflow could be suitable for uh, creators who perhaps don't have a lot of substantial musical training, but still want to create something soon. It's fast. It is. Those who need original music in larger quantities, but don't want it to be repetitive. For example, maybe filmmakers or game designers that have these long segments of uh, content. Those who wish to gain further insight and perspective on a specific composer's style could put music into this AI and it would analyze it for them. And when they listen back, they may be able to better recognize certain uh, compositional patterns that every composer may have in their own fingerprint. Thanks again for watching iDragon. If you haven't watched iDragon, go ahead, click the other links uh, somewhere in this screen or just search uh, Ding Liang iDragon. Watch it and let us know what you think. Do you think AI is a valuable tool for you? Drop something in the comments. Let us know your experience and your thoughts. Are the robots coming to take over the world? Uh, is it the Matrix? Is it, uh, you know, Robocop 2.0? Is it something that's going to work for us? Who knows? Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks so much. Stay safe. Stay strong.